know how to get to the L.A. International Airport? You want directions or you want to go there? Hurry. I'm late. Hey, that's okay. Happens all the time. Zip me. Could you please help me with my zipper? Oh, sure. Look out! Oh, shit! Any sign of her? Oh, well. How much? For you, forget it. It's on the house. In fact, any time, call the company, ask for Chabersky. That's Chabersky! You've got to be the new girl. No, that's mine. I'm Andrea. Toby. This is Sherry. Come on, Tiger, break it up. Hey, do you girls know any stewardesses landing about now? So much bigger than all the other planes. Well, where did you fly before? I flew from Des Moines to Omaha. Uh, you want to check out the trays? Oh, yes. conference of this kind Would to be like held a pillow, in Hong sir? Kong. Would you like a pillow? Thank you. Would you like a mama? Did I surprise you? <laughs> I told your papa, the first time our Toby goes so far from home, she's not gonna go by herself. You never know when a girl's gonna need her mama. Mama, the plane is going to Hong Kong. I got a round trip. We sold the store. <laughs>
Yes. You see, in Hong Kong, the government provides medical services. Yeah, but that's just the point. What's the point? Government takes over medicine. Medicine stops making money. Now, the solution is for doctors to take over government. Dinner, sir? Uh... Oh, do you know you have quite remarkable bone structure? Oh, thank you. This is dinner? What? I ordered a child's portion? Mama, this is an airline. It's not the Mulberry Street Festival. At least on Mulberry Street, you get a little pasta, a little gorgonzola, a hunk of pepperoni. People don't understand their bones. I tell you, if they really knew what was going on inside their bones... Would you care for a beverage, sir? Tea, please. Like I was saying, if they really knew what was going on inside their bones... That's not tea. It's good. It's real good. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm... Oh. <laughs> That's my daughter. I can do it. Well, allow me. Oh. I'm a doctor. Hi, this is your co-pilot, Ernie. Just wanted to point out a couple of sites of interest to you folks flying the Hong Kong Cannonball for the first time. Been doing a trip? You look down to your left, you'll be able to see the famous Pacific Ocean. And if you look to your right, you'll be able to see the famous Pacific Ocean. Yes, siree. Fasten your seat belts. We're passing through a turbulent area at this time. Thank you very much. I keep getting connected to somebody else. Could you try the call for me? Yeah, 263-1626. Thanks, operator. Donald? This keeps happening. I'm... I'm really sorry. Hey, what's your name? Toby. What's yours? David. Whenever we land here, I think of that neat Fu Young teacher of yours back in L.A. What's his name? David? It's Jim, and it's Kung Fu. Fu Young, you eat. Oh, and uh, you'll let me know what time the yacht party starts, okay? Donald here? Who? Donald, the man who lives here. Huh. 
The man who lives here is my husband. Maybe the man you want, he gave you wrong address. I lived here with him. I ought to know where I live. Uh, you, you did not live here for the last three weeks since we moved in. You've been here three weeks? Since right after I left. Did he, uh, did he leave a new address? In this city, when somebody disappears, they don't leave no address. They don't leave nothing. <laughs> I buy a string of them every time I'm here, and somehow I always break them before I leave. Beautiful things should not be thrown away. in Hong Kong. Well, it really smells terrific. Well, try some, Mom. It's good. <laughs> At least taste it. Taste what? There's no meat here. No, 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 lady. This is chop suey. No meat in chop suey. Just vegetables. Great treat. You got out into that kitchen and you bring me back some food. Boil me some beef. Cook me some pasta. Food. Food. You know, you're really on it right. It's a finer chop suey in Hong Kong, believe me. Who are you, Duncan Hines? We were having a discussion. If you want to know the truth, I'm afraid to eat this food. It might make me sick. Oh, no, Mama. It's okay. He's a doctor. Oh. A doctor, huh? <laughs> Sit down. We might need a doctor. <laughs> Go. Lynn's gonna drop me off. Something the matter? No. Her boyfriend disappeared on her. I wouldn't be up for party either. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Lynn. Have a nice time. Don't lose your head.
you phone now? May I be of help? Oh, yeah, I'd like to see Donald Morganfield. A lot of people like to see Mr. Morganfield. No one's seen him here. Two weeks. Two weeks. He's got to be here. I mean, he's not at our... His apartment. He's... Well, do you know where he is? Nobody knows where Mr. Morganfield is. Mama, he's a perfectly nice boy. Uh -huh. He's a perfectly nice playboy. All he wanted to do was show me the city. That ain't all he wanted to show you. Mama, you heard when he asked you to join us. I don't need a date. Mama, you know, I've never been any place before. I at least want to see what it looks like. We go tomorrow on a bus, you see what it looks like. You don't go out at night. Had a good day? You wouldn't believe the kind of day I've had. You didn't find him. How could somebody just disappear like that? It's a city where those things happen. People don't just... I mean, I checked out his office. I went to the places we used to eat. Nobody's seen him in weeks. Since I left. Perhaps you'd like to have dinner with me tonight. Take your mind off your difficulty. I sure need something. Thanks, yeah. Excuse me. Hello? 
Okay. Yeah, well, just don't miss the plane. Remember the last time you stayed in somebody's yacht, you wound up in New Zealand. Yeah, take care, huh? Oh, and thank Bill for last night. Okay. Bye-bye. Good girl. Toby around, I report you. Mama, it's a free country. It's not a free country. America is a free country. Here, what I say goes. Staying in the Hong Kong city tours, please follow me. Urgent message for Mrs. Naldi. <gasps> I'm Mrs. Naldi. Follow me, please. Uh, you wait. A message, a message. Who could be sending me a message? Listen, I've got to catch a bus and you're fumbling around oh. here. Don't you know where your messages are? How What's the matter? Of me. This is mine? Yes, yours. I, uh... Oh, how dare you call me ma... ma mamma mia! <laughs> Oh, my God. David, he's looking right at me. Allow me. One a cheeseburger. Okay, you see one. Do you know that I emerged as the thumb wrestling champion of our barracks? Thumb wrestling? Give me your hand, I'll show you. The object is for you to pin my thumb down and mine yours. But see, the winner of this shall have to buy a nightcap, preferably at my place. All right. You ready? Okay. Start out. One, two, three. Come on now. <laughs> got a good chance. Here you go. You almost got me. It just doesn't make sense. 
How long have you known Donald? I was thinking about that. I thought I lived with him for a year and a half. Two trips to Hong Kong a month, a couple days layover. I actually only spent about six weeks with him. Not much time to fall in love. Plenty of time to fall in love. Not much time to be in love. back in the hotel the night before we have to fly. Well, she at least calls. She probably just got involved. Sherry sure doesn't get involved. All she wants out of life is her husband. But she wants to check out every man alive to make sure she finds the right one. She hasn't got time to get involved. Maybe she found the right one. No way. She doesn't want to find him. If she found him, she'd have to stop looking. Now, young lady, for that nightcap I promised you, you know what it's made of? I call it my midnight special. It's two parts gin, one part vodka, and lots of love. You know, you don't look very happy. I'm leaving for Tokyo tomorrow, so I guess this is goodbye. Come on, nobody said anything about Goodbye. That's right. Playboy, goodbye. Sherry get in yet? No. And if she doesn't get here in about 10 minutes, she better have a heck of an excuse. Doesn't she always? All your stewardesses stay behind. Who'll serve me lunch? I got just the girl for you. Mama, I'm not going to leave until I say goodbye to him. I put a virgin on the plane in Los Angeles. I'll put a virgin on the plane in Hong Kong. Would you like a magazine? Would you like to see a magazine? Would you like to see a magazine, sir? I always feel funny when people I know watch me work. You'll have to watch me one day. I've watched you. All you do is talk on the phone a lot. I still want to know what you import. Come on, what can you get me for 90% off? I told you. Items of value. What kind of an explanation is that? Sufficient for now. Would you like to see a magazine, sir? Magazine? Where's my coffee? Did you want coffee? As soon as I pass out the magazines. Please, I want coffee. I ordered it half an hour ago. Do you know who I am? Oh, no, sir, I don't. But I can try and find out for if you like. Where's Sherry? She missed the plane. She did. There you go. Hey, don't you want to stay and watch it grow?
Mary. Mbawa. How's the export business? I was in the vicinity, so I decided to drop by. Mm -hmm. Can I fix you a drink? Sure. Puzzle. Maybe if I could put it together, I could find out where he is. This... You want to know? I'll know tomorrow. I'll get the drinks. Uh, can I use your phone? Sure. I'm meeting him in the morning. He'll let me know where. This is a rickshaw. I need more time to check out this lead. Who's our contact in Manila? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Okay, I'll get in touch. Your drink, sir? Thank you. Come by. It's nice how you can take care of business on the phone. Not all of it. Sometimes you have to make contact. Oh, man, I thought we were friends. We are. You're as bad as Donald. No. I didn't disappear. The Imamura Spa, please. Bus doesn't usually stop there. Garden closed till next month. I know it's closed, but I'm meeting someone there. Imamura Garden Spa, next stop. Come on. 
Stop moping. The world is full of men. The more you know, the more you have to choose from. Look at Mama. She chose the best in Papa. Mm. Eat. Eat. Good. Even this food tastes better. Now that I've saved you from that good-for-nothing doctor. Couldn't eat a thing in Hong Kong. Look, I lost weight from that man. Oh, Mama. I am an American citizen. And I'm a Canadian citizen. How sad we have so little in common. Except that we're both working for the same man. You little cheat. You know, you really shouldn't have done what you did. I delivered the stuff. Yeah, half of it. But you'll pay for it. You see, our boss has a little side business. Call it a rental service. <laughs> Girls. Fucker. I don't understand why all this is happening to me. Then you've been such a help through this whole crazy trip. It's good sometimes to have friends. I'm frightened for Donald. Maybe those people got him before I arrived. When the police got there, there wasn't a trace of anyone. It's like nobody even believes me. Nobody but you. And you'll be gone when I get back. Take this slut down with the others. We're approaching Manila Harbor.
don't feed me, I cook. Wait a minute. Where's your mother? She's back at the hotel. She doesn't know you're here. Well, I had to tell her, but I told her the airline made the appointment because they want us girls to stay in shape. Good girl. As long as your mother doesn't want to stay in shape, too. Mom? <laughs> seem nervous anymore. I'm not. I always dreamed it would be like this. And I always dreamed it would be like this. I never dreamed it would be like this. Who's head of operations in Manila? Enriquez, right. You ready? Just about. What's the matter? He seems so distant. I didn't expect to fall in love with you. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But it didn't start out that way. I was on a job. What do you mean? What kind of a job? You were supposed to be the lead to busting a narcotics racket. Donald. He's head of the syndicate. They got Cherry. Now I'm back where I started, not knowing where they are or how to get to them. Well, why did you lie to me in the first place? I had no choice. I thought I needed you. Besides, you have to tell people something. You just can't say I'm an agent of the British government. Trust me. I trusted you. Do you still? No. I mean, how do I know you're not lying now, an, an importer? I am an importer. 
They export girls from Hong Kong, and my job is to import them back. I mean, you let them probably kill my best friend. She's alive. She was part of the racket, too, but she crossed them. Why should I believe you? Even if she is alive now, she's probably wishing she wasn't. And you're the one that did it to her, and you ask me if I trust you? But I told you. Oh, go find somebody else to use. your body it's so white so sweet you know you were doing very well in the dope business but you had to get greedy why do women have to be so greedy you see now you have to go to work in my entertainment department well i believe in testing the merchandise that i give to my customers shouldn't let them down should we I just want to thank you in advance for the fine work you'll be doing for us. For the fun. see a place you've got to walk a little slower you walk slower something happens you see that's the idea mama you let things happen you look at stuff you go into places you stop for you stop you get killed walk stop now what you want to see you see from the name spend my day off on an airplane? This outfit, they show you a thing or two. Oh, here's your ticket. Have a nice time. Uh, come in, ladies, come in. Take your seats, please. Uh, can I do anything for you, ladies? We wanted to take the tour. Oh, the, the tour? I'm afraid that's impossible. Why it's impossible? You see, we're all booked up. Uh, yes, ma'am, booked solid. Well, so, uh, we take the next tour. Well, we're booked up for, till the next 12 weeks. Uh, not a seat available till uh, uh, 14 weeks. You see, we're very, very popular, you know. Let's go, ma'am. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This must be one heck of a tour. Oh, the best. <laughs> Let's go. Just a minute. They don't want to sell me a ticket. Listen, I'm an American citizen. You've got to sell well, me you a see, ticket. Mama, Mama, you're an American citizen, but this isn't America. When I get through with it, it will be you. Listen. Donald's Andrea, I presume. I'm sorry, darling. I know you've been looking for me, but you can't imagine how busy I've been. I've been meaning to tell you about my work. I just never got around to it. Right now, I desperately need someone I can really trust. And that's why I've come to you for help. What kind of help, Donald? Well, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Come to this address. Yeah, be careful with that. But just remember, I want you to be a part of my work and my life. Son of a bitch. 
He wanted to use me in his filthy business. Hello? This is Rickshaw. Can I have uh, Enriquez, please? Yes, I've been expecting you. Something came up in the Morganfield operation. It's very hot. I think we got him now. All right, you can come over to my place. Oh, where are you now? At the Hyatt. Are you familiar with Castle City? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, take this route. Somebody's following us. Are you sure? I think so. Do you know where is South Pacific Tours? You mean South Pacific Flying Tours? That's the one. <laughs> but the other building, Mom. Oh, come. <laughs> we made it, we made it. This is the place. My daughter, <laughs> she isn't happy unless she sees everything. <laughs> Mama, why are there only men on this flight? Maybe it's a businessman's lunch. Hmm? Well, are you sure we're going to be able to get on? Don't worry, the policeman said. But we don't even have tickets, you know. Maybe you'll get them on the airplane. What am I going to do? If my friends don't show up, two tickets, they cost me plenty. Uh, are you interested in selling those tickets? Yeah, my tickets. Uh, uh, this is my daughter. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> She's a stewardess. 
She goes around the world. She does? <laughs> she really wants to get on this airplane. You want to put your daughter on this tour? When it comes to airplanes, my Toby, she can't get enough. <laughs> your own daughter? Well, you must understand. You must have a daughter. Yes, I have a daughter. Well, then, now, don't you love your daughter? Yeah, Wouldn't you yes, love I... your daughter to be on this airplane? Uh, uh, yeah. Wouldn't you? Uh, here, you have the tickets, they're yours. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't see flying tours. Not the way. You must be the two ladies that are going to join our tour. This way, please. Take her inside. Oh, Fire up in the warehouse. Is this the last batch? Yes, Mom. Uh, what time do we board the plane over there? Our plane is there for civil aeronautics regulations. The real fun starts inside. Ah. Follow me, please. Port Mussolini, I thought the Germans, I put my way to New Jersey, I can find you. You'll see, I'll get you. I will get you. Ah! Put her on the table. Okay, how much do I owe you? Oh, that's all right. Just follow me. Pay when you get inside. Where in Rika's men? I thought they were going to be here. That's right. I wonder what's keeping them. Are you sure this is the right place? Let's go check. on, as they say. We've got something for everybody here. Yeah, that's right. Something for, uh, everybody. This one. I'm sorry, this one is booked. Of course, you're welcome to seconds. Well, I'll, uh, I'll have a drink and uh, let you know. Yes, may I help you? Um, I, I had an appointment with Donald Morganfield. Sweet, please.
They do. Please give it to me. It's an emergency. I beg your pardon? We have a medical emergency, and I need the key. I'm yeah, well, doctor. that's my girl. Well, you won't have a girl if she dies. She uh, what's is after problem? my girl. Sir? We have a medical emergency on number 10, and she needs treatment. Uh, Robert, uh, could you accompany this man to the lineup? There seems to be an emergency. Go. Follow me, please. You, I would have been one of your sluts. It's end of the line for you, Morganfield. A place around it. If you come quietly, there'll be no trouble. Am I late for the appointment? Sorry, Lynn. In this card game, I hold all the aces.